Over three years ago, I came down here to visit a friend that owned the nursery, and he introduced me to his business partners where we were starting to grow mushrooms. They started out with two greenhouses, maybe 500 pounds a month, and now we've grown three years later into picking 150,000 pounds a month. Every day it starts out in the process of coming in and harvesting the larger mushrooms off uh, the logs out of the greenhouses. This greenhouse right here has over 12,000 logs in it, and I have 21 greenhouses. Uh, it's a very labor-intensive process. Everything's done by hand, sorted by hand, packaged by hand, um, and shipped around the country, ma mainly in, here in Georgia to major food service companies. A little bit overwhelming to begin with. Um, again, you never know that you know something like this is, exists in this area. Um, and then you get a tour and walk around here. It's, it, it's something else. They supply us with all of our shiitake and our oyster mushrooms, um, the locally grown. We've got trucks that are out in the area. We come by pick them up from, uh, from here and take it back to our warehouse and distribute them all across Georgia. We've got all the customers from Buckhead Atlanta, uh, a lot of the hotels, the larger hotels, and even down to your smaller mom and pops who, who want that farm to table, that locally grown items. I met Scott three or four years ago, actually. He came out here and it's grown up quite a bit. And when you think about local farms, you know, you don't really think about this, like shiitake and oyster mushrooms, like super fresh. And all my customers, they buy from me because they know it's gonna be the freshest thing possible. I turn them on to Scott because I know it's gonna be the freshest possible. I know he's picking these mushrooms right off the log. They're going in a box. They're going on my truck and they're coming straight to your table. Well, the process starts out as this is a ground up applewood log. It's ground up and pressed back into this form here and insert the spores in these holes right here and then flash frozen and shipped all around the country. Once we get the logs in here, we bring them and put them on the racks and soak them with all the sprinklers for five hours. 10 days later, you'll see little bitty mushrooms like this popping up and every day that mushroom will be this size, this mushroom will be that size and they grow very, very fast. Um, you actually have to um, sort them out, take this mushroom away so this mushroom grows perfect. You know, so uh, that, that, I don't want anything really to turn into a number two mushroom. I want everything to turn into a number one. It's called a flush for the first pick, the second pick, and the third pick. This log will last me about a month. I could possibly get two pounds to three pounds off one log and one greenhouse is 12,000 logs. After the process is done, we strip the logs out of the greenhouses and we recycle them through a nursery. Uh, Breaking Ground Nursery uses them for fertilizer and I have uh, a couple of big uh, landscaping companies that come and use the logs for fertilizer under uh, fresh mulch. We're gonna keep growing right now. We have 21 greenhouses and we're fixing to put up 21 more. So I'll be, I'll be able to service uh, the whole southern United States. Right now people are pulling mushrooms that I grow out of New Jersey, which takes a while to pick them, pack them, and ship them. So if I ship to a customer here in Georgia, it's probably a mushroom that was picked that morning. 